Hello, in this video, we are going to see how Larval Telescope works. Larval Telescope is an official package which is very helpful in, deb in debugging your Larval application. So, let's see how it can be installed. Well, we are going to install it uh, via Composer. We are going to copy this command and paste it in our terminal. Well, this will take some time to install. Well, now that telescope has been installed, let's run these two commands. Well, this will publish the asset. And this is the migrate command. And this will create the tables which are being used by the telescope. Well, now that the telescope has been installed, let's scroll down a bit. And it says that we need to remove the, tele the telescope service provider from the app. And instead, we need to register it manually in the app service provider in the register method. So let us uh, do both of these steps. We will go to config app.php. And we are going to comment this line. And what we are going to do is we are going to copy this and paste it in the register method of the app service provider. And that is it. Now we are ready to use telescope. Before we open up the telescope, I'm going to open up our app and I'm going to just open up a couple of pages. This is the home page and this is the detail page. All right. Now what we can do is we can open the telescope page using the telescope URL. And what it will do is it will open up this page. So this shows us all the requests that has happened. So as we can see, it shows that we went to the home page, we went to the detail page. It also shows us the status, time it took to render that page, and it also gave us the time when this request was processed. There are other useful things. We call them watcher and they are being mentioned in the documentation. So these are all the watchers. What we are mainly interested in the query watcher. So if we go to the queries, we will see all the queries that have been implemented as you were running your app. It will give you the list of all the queries. And if certain queries take more than 100 milliseconds, it will show them in a red format. So these were all the create and alter queries. So you don't need to optimize them, but it just gives you an idea. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit a story. And I'll save it. And if you go to the request, it will show us that we went to the edit. We had a put request. And afterward, we were redirected to the stories page. We also see the status along with the time it took Larval to implement that request. Now, within this edit story, I had an event. So if you go to the events tab, we see that that particular event was fired and I'm also writing to the log when a story is edited so we can see that message in the log watcher as well if we click over here we can get more detail about it we can see the authenticated user we can see the log message 
and we can also check the whole request. And if I add a story, let's say and if I save it, and now if I go to the telescope and check the request tab, it has all the details of all the requests. And if I now go to the events, I have, we, we can see that we have another event that was created and fired. And we said that we see that it has two listeners. And these are the listeners that were fired. And if we check the mail tab, we see that that email was also sent is also logged over here and if we check the detail we can see the whole mail text that was being sent so this is very very useful you can get a lot of debug information over here and it is very very useful to have especially during the development process there are a bunch of other watchers as well you can explore them on your own another thing that we can do is if we check the list of commands we have this telescope clear and this will clear all the entries from the telescope now as we can see that uh, telescope is logging a lot of information so you should run this command once in a while so that number of entries are small so I'm going to run the telescope clear. And now if I refresh the page, everything is empty. This will only be populated once I start browsing my app. So hopefully this video gave you an impression of how powerful the tele Laval telescope is. I always use it during my development process. And once you start using it, you will love it as well. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you have enjoyed it.